Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here, and I want to welcome you to my first episode of Top Water Tackle Talk. So let's get started. everybody welcome to my first episode here of top water tackle talk and in this video what I want to do is talk about top water lures and really how to use top water lures to be more successful on the water and what really I'm excited about in this episode here is that what I want to do for the fishing community is really focusing on a specific type of fishing now we all know that everyone loves top water but really it's all about understanding how to be more effective with your top water fishing and i really believe that there needs to be someone out there a channel that's like totally dedicated to top water fishing all the time now there be some times where i'll get a lot of fish other times i might not get a lot of fish but i really think because top water is so fun there really should be a channel that's like dedicated to focusing on top water fishing. And so that's what I want to be to the fishing community. So I want you to make sure that you like, subscribe to the channel because I promise you this is going to be a channel that's really going to showcase top water lure fishing at its finest, specifically freshwater. And what I want to do in this episode regards to tackle talk is to talk about the lures and talk about some of the lures that can really help you become a more effective top water fisherman. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to showcase some top water lures that I'm currently using. In every Tackle Talk, I'll be showcasing more and more lures so that you can get an idea of where you can really go with your top water fishing experience. So let's just go ahead and get started here. The first one that I want to show everybody is the Micro Pompadour. Look at that beautiful thing right there. See, that's one thing that I've really gotten into now is into the crawlers and into the actual big top water lures as well. But I wanted to start this episode off with, with how I got started. I got started on top water with smaller finesse type top water lures and I graduated up to the bigger top water lures. So this right here is a micro pompadour. It's about an inch, pretty much about 1.65 inches and about a quarter ounce. As you can see, Put a feather tail on that and it's got that crawling motion right there so anyone out there that's ever heard of the pompadour this is the micro pompadour and this right here is a really exciting lure to throw so here's also what i'm going to do here for everybody for each of these lures that i showcase in this video i'm going to give you a little video clip of me fishing with that lure so you can really see it in action. So what we're going to do right now is go over and watch a quick clip of me fishing with the Pompadour Junior. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Nice one. Nice one. As you can see, right here, he is still on the line. And whoo, he is mad. He is mad. There we go. But as you can see, He's on, caught on the micro pompadour. So that's what he got himself caught on, what the micro pompadour, and that was really cool. All right. But for those that are watching on my channel also, check it out. This right here was the, was the actual pompadour. So that's what makes it so cool there it is right there I want to make sure everybody gets a good look 
at the pompadour. Well, there you go. As you can see, that pompadour is really exciting. I really had a lot of fun fishing with this little pompadour here because it was a little bit of a crawler and it was crawling across. And one of the things about when you start fishing with crawler type baits is you've got to get used to a different style of fishing because you're not going to be fishing really fast and aggressive, but more of a steady retrieve as you do this now. So the micro pompadour, and what I did was add a feather hook to the back because I really believe as you're crawling, they're keying in on this feather hook as they're watching it actually move across. And you want them to have something to key in and hit upon. So the micro pompadour is definitely a great little topwater lure. And in, in regards to price, this isn't a cheap lure. I actually got it from Japan, so it cost me a little bit more money. It was like $20 plus shipping, so it was a little bit more expensive. But it's all about having the experience of fishing with new and exciting lures. So by the time I do this video, maybe they've gotten it where it's a lot cheaper, but this was really an exciting lure. Okay. The next lure that I want to talk about here in this review is one that you may not have seen before, but it is called actually called the D-Style. This is a top water finesse lure as well. Notice that right there, the D-Style. Let me show it to you like this. Look at those wings on that. Now, Mega Bass has created one that's like a big version of this right here. It's a huge version of it, of this exact model right here. But the D-Style is a smaller, finesse type of topwater lure that does the exact same thing. It has that walking action, just like before. If you notice right here, there are eyes on it. So as it goes like this, and it goes like this, those fish can key in on the eyes. Whether And it's also, unlike the other topwater, it's a side lure. So it sits in the water like this. So the fish are actually looking at it from this position right here so they can see it up there fluttering. What I did was it came with a treble hook. I added, and this on the back was a feather on the back, but I added another treble onto the back because I was getting lots of short strikes. And when you're doing top water, you're gonna experience a lot of short strikes. So it's key for you to figure out how to deal with short strikes. Either slow your, slow your retrieve, or you may have to add an additional hook because sometimes they just swipe at it because it's annoying them. They're not hungry, it's annoying. And one thing that I learned was that when bass hit lures, it's either because they're hungry or they're pissed off, one or the other. So in either case, you wanna give them something else to strike at. So what I wanna do now is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a clip of me fishing with the D style. So let's go ahead and check that out. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha. All right, everybody. Well, there, there she is. Caught her on the D style reserve, and that was pretty exciting. Just trying to dripping it over there on them, so that was pretty exciting using the D style here. Got the D style right here, using that shallow. Hitting them good, okay. There she goes. Okay, so there you go. You saw me working with that D-Style. Once again, that D-Style is a great finesse type top water lure. It goes back and forth, back and forth, across the top, that slow retrieve. One of the things that I'm really excited about with this particular one is because it is so light that you're going to have to use light line on this. Now, I wasn't using mono. I was using braid on this as well. I'll throw braid. I'll throw mono on these type of lures here. But you've got to make sure that you're fishing with the right equipment. Now, what I mean by the right equipment is a lighter line. Like, if you're going to use mono, then, of course, you want to use a mono that's between a 14 up to a 17. And if you're using braid, you want to definitely use a braid that's around 8 pounds to 10 pounds so that you can really get great casting action and great movement out of this as well. And I use, normally use a 7-foot medium when I'm throwing something like this right here. But this right here, the D-Style, another great lure that if you want to do top water and you want to do it really finesse 
and light, this is the one that you should be using right here. Okay, the next one on here that we've got, and I'm sure that many of you have seen this one before, it just recently came out. Check out that baby right there. That is from Chase Bait, and this model is called the Smuggler. And this is a bigger top water lure. As you can notice before, this one right here has a lot of action in it. Got the three prong hooks on the front and the back. Offers a lot of action and a lot of noise on top of the water. One of the things about fishing with this one right here that I found successful was when the fish are breaking on the top, you got to look for when they're busting. When they're chasing shad, chasing minnows, that's when this one works the most effective because what we're trying to do is draw them in. Like when they're in a frenzy and they're really going for it, anything counts and they're just going to strike because they think it's those minnows busting. When you see them busting, that's when you throw this one right here. And, it, and I found it to be most effective because I would throw when they're busting and then it would come across and swing at it. I've also been able to catch these fish if you're throwing in the right spots. In other words, where they are currently spawning, but also where they're actually defending and hunting. So when they're hunting and you don't see any busting, you got to throw to more secluded areas and slowly let it wake right there and slowly make that noise to bring them towards you. But this right here is a great top water lure. And it's by Chase Bait. It recently came out and I've had nothing but joy with it. So what I want to do is go ahead and show you a video of me fishing with this lure. So go ahead and enjoy that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! There we go. There we go. There we go, everybody. Woo! Look at that. Woo! On the chase bait, on the smuggler, on the bird, baby. On the bird right there bass like birds and i got one finally got one top water on the smuggler all right that's a nice one right there okay then well there you go you saw me there really excited about using that chase bait right here it's got that walking action once again loud noise now the, this particular one is the smaller version of that chase bait so there is a bigger version and a smaller version. I personally went for the smaller version. I went for the Sparrow here, this model, because this is more conducive to what's in my area. See, I live in Florida, and there are sparrows and these little birds that fly around, and bass do notice them. So that's why I chose this. Chase Bay's got an assortment of different colors, and you got to think about the colors in the sense of what does the bass actually see from below. That's why you flip it over, and you can see this is what they actually see. This on top, this is for us. This on the bottom, this is for them. So you got to think about what is the bass actually looking up and actually seeing when it's striking. So I really like this particular lure right here, and it offers a lot of action. And it's another one that you should consider when you're saying, hey, I want to do more top water. I want to experience it more. And I hope that the videos that I've shared with you, you can see it in action. See, one of the biggest things that I've noticed in the fishing community is there's a lot of lures that come out. And these lures come out, but no one is showing them catching fish. Or no one is showing them fishing with those lures in some kind of normal capacity. Now, there's always such an extreme capacity when I see people fishing with them. They're fishing in a pond or they're fishing in a area that's loaded with fish. In other words, that might be even a paid pond. I fish in open community areas where it's heavy pressure, where the fish may or may not be there, and it's big water. See, I don't know where the fish are. I have to find the fish. And when you're fishing top water, you really have to become a student of that water and really look to see what's going on and where those fish are. See, one of the four things that I think about when I'm fishing is I think about, and here, and here are the areas here, I think about placement, 
I think about position, I think about the prey, and I think about the water. So when you're top water fishing, placement, where are you actually going to place the fish? In other words, where are they? Placement, where are the fish? Position, you've got to position your lure so that it gets their attention. Prey, what are they pursuing at that particular time? What are they chasing after? And then you try to match the hatch, but you're doing top water. And then finally, the water, is it clear? Is it murky? If it's murky, then you're going to have to use something that rattles and makes noise to drive them up. If it's clear, then you want to have a top water lure that's more matching the hatch, like this one right here, where it's got the big eye, where they can see that as they're coming up. These are the little things when you're top water fishing that you got to be thinking about. And this is what I've grown into. And so that's why I'm so excited to share in this video my observations and just share with you all of these lures that I have invested in, that I have received, that I have just been utilizing. And I want to share those with you so that if you decide to buy them, you can at least say, hey, Top Water Johnny did catch fish with it and I could catch fish with it. Because see, I'm a bank fisherman. I haven't necessarily got out on the water like most people who, who have a big boat. I'm more a bank fisherman. I'm trying to get myself a little John boat now, but I'm a bank fisherman right now, and that's how I have to make it work. And so for you, you're watching this video, and you're a bank fisherman, these kind of lures are the ones that can make it work on that top water. Now, what I want to do is run a little video here for you about one of the newest lures that I'll be showcasing later, but I want you to check it out and just watch this video and see what you think. All right, so enjoy this video real quick. All right, everybody, there it is, my new top water lure here. This crawler is a beast. So it's the Aventa, and it is a crawler that walks across the top of the water. So I'm really excited about this lure here. You can see those size of those hooks on there. This is, this is from all about hunting for the big fish. So I'm looking for those big bass on top water hitting these big top water lures. So a lot of people are throwing those big swim baits. I'm throwing them big top water baits so I can get those big bites too. All right then, so everybody, please, would you fish with this? Give a like, a comment, and let me know, would you fish with it? Because this is all about catching those big bass, baby. All right. Well, there you have it there. Check it out. I want to show it to you here because it's a big boy. Look at this one right here. That is five inches of beauty right there. That is a massive top water lure right here. And recently, I've gotten involved with this type of lure right here. I'm trying to look here really fast, find my notes here real quick so that I talk about it right. But this right here is a huge lure. I even added a feather tail to it. It had two big hooks on it. But notice what I did to mine. I put on there a trapper treble hook, and I put a feather hook on the back. Remember what I talked about here. The bass are coming up. You want them to key on something. Now, you would say to yourself, what's going to hit this? A very big bass. That's what's going to hit this. So I'm really excited about this lure. Not going to talk about it here. Just wanted to show it to everybody, get everybody to look at it. I'm going to feature it in future Tackle Talks. But I just wanted to showcase it here to everybody so that everybody can see it in action and see what it does here, see, so you can see it. Okay, so in this video, what I wanted to do was introduce myself to everyone once again here. I mean, there's a lot of people that have watched my videos in the past on Instagram. If you go to Instagram and you type in Top Water Johnny, you'll see over 100 blow-ups. And they're all my fish that I've caught Top Water. And they're all on Instagram, but they're also on YouTube here as well, where I have a chance to go into much more detail and explain to you what I'm actually doing. See, I started my fishing experience like most people. I was, I did cat fishing. I did the basic bluegill fishing as I grew up, but later on I got into bass fishing. And once I got into bass fishing, I realized there were so many ways to fish, but which way was the way that really excited me the most? Now I will use wake baits, I will use worms, I will use subsurface lures, absolutely, because that always allows me to have that top water experience, but I'm looking for top water most of the time. And so 
what I've learned is to get really good at my top water strikes. In other words, you don't get that many top water strikes, so you've got to get good at it so that you don't miss your opportunities. And that's really what I've honed over the last couple of years, getting better at my top water. And so for you out there watching this, you may love top water, and this channel will give you some insights on how to be a better top water fisherman. And that's really all that I'm going to focus on is how to be a better top water fisherman, how to use lures that really do make a difference, and showcase really cool lures that can give you a great top water experience. Some lures will be very affordable, some lures will be very expensive, but the key is for you to decide which ones make sense for you. So here's what I want you to do, everybody. Please go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel, share this with other people as well, leave a comment. Matter of fact, if you've got questions about top water that you want me to answer in upcoming tackle, you know, top water tackle talks, please leave those comments below as well, and I'll include those in my actual videos. So once again, this is Top Water Johnny, and I'm going to say that phrase that pays. Keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. See you in the next video. All right.